So today we received the usual weekly Red Dead Online update and so far it looks like Rockstar decided to take a little break, probably because they were working too hard on the future updates and big expansions to this game, right? Anyway, I was looking really hard but all I found is just a few discounts, no bonuses, no extra payments, nothing like that. Oh yeah, there is like a returning content, I mean they removed it last week and now it's back. I'm talking about Call to Arms. Again, all maps are back to the game. Good luck with finding teammates for this mode if you will decide to try it alone. Okay, let's waste no more time. Now I'm gonna tell you about the discounts that we have this week in Red Dead Online. So the first discount is on all the rifles, including Elephant Rifle and Woman Rifle. It's kinda interesting because we had a discount on Woman Rifle last week. In any case, it's a pretty good discount, especially for beginners, because you want to buy a Woman Rifle, you want to buy bolt action rifle or rolling block rifle on the lower levels and this discount will help you. And obviously if your level is high enough, try to buy Karkana rifle, it's the best weapon in the game in my opinion. Oh one more thing, remember that elephant rifle is kinda useless in pretty much all situations, it's more like a cosmetics, but it's a fun thing to have. So with this discount you might buy it if you have a lot of money. Next discount is on all the hats, including hats that Madame Nazar is selling. And yes, no new clothing was added to Red Dead Online again. At Stables you can find a discount on all the Mustang horses. And again, it's a pretty good discount for beginners. Because this horse has extremely good stats for such price. And yes, stats don't matter too much in practice in Red Dead Online, but it's more like on a higher levels when you have enough money to buy Nocodoches, to buy best stirrups and stuff like that. Next discount is on all the ammo pamphlets that you you can buy at fans. And it's a good discount because there are a lot of useful pamphlets in this category, for example dynamite arrow, explosive ammo and stuff like that. And the next discount is for upgrading your ability cards. Again, it's a pretty good discount for beginners. Because if you are using some ability cards, you definitely want to upgrade it. Just remember, don't spend any money on upgrading useless ability cards. And if you want to find out which ability cards are good in Red Dead Online, I suggest you to watch my video, link will be in the description. So I would say that discounts this week are pretty good, especially for beginners. But I haven't found any sort of extra payouts, and I thought that since we have discount on rifles and on ammo pamphlets, it means, you know, that they are focusing on PvP, so maybe there will be some extra payouts for PvP, but no, I checked it and there are no extra payouts. Also I decided to check legendary bounty missions, because we didn't have any extra bonuses or payouts for bounty hunters a role for quite some time now, but no, there is nothing there as well. And it's kind of weird, because usually we have one good weekly update and one bad weekly update in Red Dead Online and good again, and last week we had like a pretty weak weekly update, with these bonuses to naturalist roll and extra payouts for selling fish. But today's weekly Red Dead Online update looks even less impressive. But again, maybe there are some hidden bonuses that we will find out about only from Newswire pay papers that will be posted later in the evening. If there will be something important, I will let you know. Anyway, I've told you about the discounts and I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it useful. As always, thank you for watching, like, subscribe, до свидания.